Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're going to be talking about a pretty crazy story that broke out involving Brandon Cole Margera, better known as Bam Margera. Um, I actually am a huge fan of Bam Margera. I grew up playing the Tony Hawk Pro Skater games, uh, Tony Hawk Underground, and of course I've seen the Jackass films. Uh, these these media forms, you know, the video games, the the movies, they really kind of shaped my childhood. You know, these are things that I grew up on. But today we're going to be talking about kind of an unfortunate case um, and kind of the, the details surrounding it. So let's just get right into it here. On Monday, June 13th, Bam Margera was checked into a Florida State Rehab Center and he just escaped. Um, so kind of for context here, Bam has a history of drug and alcohol abuse, which stems specifically, at least in my opinion, from the loss of his best friend, Ryan Dunn, as well as his history of just living the party lifestyle, you know, from a very young age, um, dude was making stunt videos, skateboarding, and of course, having huge parties at his mansion, um, drug-fueled, alcohol-fueled parties, just kind of inviting strangers into his home and, you know, kind of like I'm saying, just living that crazy party lifestyle. And for those that are not familiar, this type of lifestyle actually is what resulted in the loss of Bam's best friend, Ryan Dunn. Um, so there was a little bit of alcohol mixed into the equation. And back in 2011... He unfortunately was killed in a car crash. So he uh, he was hanging out with some friends at the bar, um, got in his Porsche and crashed going 130 miles per hour. And this devastated Bam. And again, in my opinion, I think is what kind of uh, began this downhill spiral, kind of the catalyst, the, the final uh, straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak. So fast forward here to June 13th of 2022, uh, yet again, Bam is in rehab and sources are saying that he apparently was unhappy with the place uh, as well as maybe the services that they were providing him. So he just straight up got up and left. Um, and a lot of the kind of, I guess the consensus is, is that this was due to a skateboarding accident. So about a month ago, Bam was involved in a skateboarding accident because he's never been able really to let go of skating and he's been very consistently trying to relearn how to skateboard uh, since all of the um, stuff that has unfolded the past 10 or so years. Um, he's been very steadfast in regaining that ability and so he still skateboards today, obviously not at the same level he was back at the the prime age of his early 20s but he was involved in a skateboarding accident supposedly bro broke his elbow or something and he got really pissed off and blamed the um, the rehab facility staff for his injury you know obviously it's not their fault their job is to treat him for drug and alcohol abuse you know make sure he's on the right path i personally don't think that it's their job to keep him you know, safe from skateboarding incidents. If he wants to skateboard, you know, they don't have the, I guess, jurisdiction or the right, at least in my understanding, uh, to get him to not skateboard. Um, but that's kind of where the, the consensus is. And so, like I said, he just got up and left. But I do have a personal problem with that. You know, I kind of hate it when when people point the finger and blame other people like yeah it's unfortunate the situation that he's in and kind of the experiences he's had but there's no good done by pointing the finger and uh and blaming others for your unhappiness or your shortcomings or your circumstances and so me i personally i i can't i can't vibe with that man i can't uh i can't condone that behavior on bam's part Again, you know, they're not responsible for keeping him off the skateboard. If he wants to be on the skateboard, you know, he has that right. And there's nothing they can really do about it. However, let me make it very clear that the rehab personnel, the, the workers there that are in charge of making sure he's on the right path, that he's being safe, they are not fully in the clear. They, they are somewhat to blame 
here in this situation and I'll uh, I'll discuss that uh, in just a second because from from my research and my understanding of the situation is this rehab appearance here this most recent one it was court ordered meaning very simply he was not allowed to leave and from what I've read it sounds like bro just simply was like you know don't really like it here I'm just gonna leave and he just walked out the door and not only that, but I think he took off in his own black sedan or black um, black vehicle. Bro just straight up took off in the forum like he's like, later. But like, how, how do you let that happen? Like I said before, it is their job to keep him on the right path, make sure he's safe, uh, make sure that he you know doesn't leave. Because again, it's court ordered. He's not allowed to leave. And this is really surprising to me. Because dude is a danger to himself and potentially a danger to others. In fact, the whole reason he's in that rehab facility in the first place is due to a hotel dispute about a year ago that got him there in the first place. And I want to make it very clear, you know, I'm not trying to just like hate on Bam, you know, and say, oh, he's irresponsible. What is he doing? I mean, I kind of do. But at the same time, I, I like Bam. Like I said, I grew up with him. Um, I love what he did, uh, love what he's uh, all about, but I think this is very reckless. I think this is irresponsible, and there is no excuse for Bam to leave and the personnel of the rehab facility to let him go ahead and do that. Uh, if nothing else, your job is to make sure he's safe and that he's not hurting himself and that he's not hurting others um, and just following this this court mandated order as well but but the craziest news of all is that sources are saying that bam's frustrations with the facility also stem from a lack of special celebrity treatment and so i want you to take that information and do with it as you will but my my thoughts here i had i had a couple thoughts you know first of all um drug and alcoholism is a human problem what i mean by that is it does not affect celebrities any different than say like you or i so with that in mind there's obviously certain procedures and protocols that the trained professionals i might add have to go through to ensure that treatment is being administered Uh, just because bam is a celebrity doesn't mean that there's some sort of you know secret sauce i guess you know some secret way to treat him that works only for him i want to make it clear to you know there are you know people are different and require you know different means of treatment but i think just the the kind of way it came off to me and i'd love to hear your guys's thoughts but this really screamed entitlement to me um he and he's always had that kind of entitlement sort of mentality all his life uh this is a direct result in my opinion of bad parenting his parents you know they're good people but they always just let him do whatever the hell he wanted um i i always grew up watching viva la bam and he just terrorized his parents on purpose um causing all sorts of mayhem destroying their house and from what i saw you know you could argue maybe stuff happened behind the uh, behind the curtain behind the behind the scenes off camera but i never saw any sort of repercussions come from his actions he was never punished he was never and you can make the argument all day like oh bro you're just a boomer you don't know what you're talking about blah 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 but really honestly that really does foster bad kids and i don't want to say his parents are like completely to blame here but I do think that that was worth noting. And one more thing that's really sad about this whole situation, you got to consider the fact that bro just previously completed a year of treatment. And to me, when I read that, um, that was just really sad to me because it seemed like he was doing so well. This is, of course, a common theme that it seems like he is doing well. And then his behavior sort of, you know, relapses, if you will. And so I'm kind of thinking to myself, is this just another setback in the road to recovery for him? And I would love to hear what you guys have to think about this. Um, But that's pretty much it for the video. 
uh, kind of my thoughts on the situation. When I when I heard about this, you know, I just knew I had to make a video on it. But I uh, hope you all have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, for more commentaries like this. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Later.